Okay. Hello. The continuation. La continuación de maquillaje parte cinco. At least I think. I think it's part five. Um. Yeah, I like Conan O'Brien, so I kind of sometimes feel like I'm like. female version of Conan O'Brien. Does that make any sense? Um, okay, so I'm just basically extending out the look of my uh, eyeshadow here. I can just tell you that this is probably going to take me forever to think around with and get uploaded because I've never actually edited. Ooh, that looks nice. I've never actually edited a video on um, YouTube. Okay. Now, try to get this off of here. Have something in my eye, of course. Like a little piece of lint. Okay, now, I take. So, what I did was I took the. <clears throat> this is um, the Revlon Cream Shadows Illuminant Cream Shadow, and this pack is called Pink Petals 705. So I took the darkest one, and you can start and put a light base first. It doesn't matter which order you do it in, whichever way you want to do it. So I take the darkest one, and I just start working out and in, and then kind of blending it out again until I get it even look, you don't want like a total circle, half circle, just line of makeup, unless of course you want to do that, but this is the way I do it. So, now I take wiping your finger off, whatever finger you use to use to apply the makeup, which is easy to use your fingers. I don't use a lot of brushes because I don't really have time and I haven't really gotten into that, so what I'm doing now is just taking the lightest shimmery pink, uh, very pearly pink, and popping that right in the inner corner of my inner eye. And sh uh, um, I'm going to say this. <laughs> kind of pushing it out to underneath the brow bone there. And you can see how nicely it illuminates your eye when you have a nice, light, pearly um, color there. And you can just kind of put it under here as well. Okay. That looks pretty good, I have to say. The maroon color off my other finger here. No, this is the one where I do use my left hand. With the eyeshadow part, I can do it. I'm not as good with I'm not as good as with my right hand, but liners and stuff I just can't do with my left hand. But this I can kind of do, kind of get it in there. This is just my little pinkish maroon. Or say maroon. I'm trying to say like plum, wine, maroon, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Look. Pinky, pinkish, more of a pink tone look. So it's kind of weird because I have pink or er, peach blush on, so you really don't have to match, matchy match. You can do whatever you want. So look how nice that makes the eye pop. You, know, you draw it upward, and it just makes the whites of your eyes brighter. Now you can do. Uh, what I usually do is I go over it one more time with whatever oh, it be like if I do to the purple. Now I'm putting purple over brown, but I do a little bit of eyeliner right over it again. And just kind of blend it that kind of this the wooden part of that, or whatever part of that brush there, or part of that pencil there. Okay. Just 
purple actually looks pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I got this color. You get a really good discount. Look at that. If you can see me leaning that far forward, I really hope when I go to look at these again, it looks nice. Or halfway decent. Whoop, I have a little line there. So I'm just going to push it upward. Go over it again. I only go over this because it just kind of helps redefine where I put the, the cream shadow over it. See that? Oh my god, I get so excited about makeup, it's not even funny. This might be a million bids, but oh well. Once I get a better setup and a better way to do it, I will let you know and do it. Okay. Hopefully you're not just sitting at the top of my head. I'll be really mad. Now, I'm going to do some kind of extreme. Let me check the time here. Okay, i got enough time to pull this off. <coughs> now, I use both Amon and Maybelline mascara. My favorite mascara used to be uh, Max Factor 2000 calorie um, waterproof proof black or something, but they stopped making Max Factor, which, ooh, travesty. Okay, um, otherwise, really good one. Oh, <laughs> kind of sticky. Maybelline, Maybelline Lash Stiletto. Uh, waterproof in, um, black something. Oh, God. So tiny, I can't even read it. Well, whatever, it's black. Um, and then I have different ones. I have the Avon Super Magnify, which really doesn't give you a lot of length, but it really separates your lashes, kind of like the Max Factor Stretch and Separate used to. And uh, you can kind of see, this is a little demo here. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. This is the Max Super Magnify Avon brush. Hopefully you can see that. It's, that. it's a flat brush, but it has very close together bristles. And it's that pol poly whatever plastic type bristle. Um, okay, I'm going to continue on with this. Again, another, another bit here. Let's see. 